Hey there everybody, Teacher Booth here for gshelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to swap two uh, actors. So um, when you play and you select this one and then select this one they would swap locations uh, and so on. Um, so for this tutorial we're going to need a few attributes and uh, the first one will be an uh, index attribute and that's because we're just going to be counting how many uh, selections there are. So we're going to call this select count and then we're going to need four real attributes and that's because we're going to track the X and Y locations of the um, actors being touched. The first one we're going to call is 1X 1Y and then 2X and 2Y and that's because uh, for the first selection what will be selection 1 we want to record its X and Y location and for selection two, we're going to record its X and Y location. Now we're going to go into our actor. And I just have a single actor, and I've just changed the color of each of them. I'm going to open that up. And we're going to need two attributes, uh, self-attributes, for this actor. Um, the first one will be an uh, index attribute. I'm going to call this my selection. And then we're going to create another one, and it's going to be a Boolean, because it's a true or false. And we're going to call this used, because we want to keep track of what actor has been used or not. Now, we're going to create a rule, and in this rule, we're going to say when touch is pressed and self used is false. So we're basically saying if the actor has not been touched, it's okay to use it. Um, but that way, if it has been touched already, uh, we can't use it. That way you can't select the same actor twice and, and cause uh, undecided effects. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is change attribute. And we're going to change game select count to game select count plus one. So basically, um, it starts off at zero, so when you select your first actor, it's going to change zero to plus one, which leaves one. And if it's already set to one, because you've already selected one actor, with plus one, it would select two. And now we're going to change attribute, we're going to change self, my selection, to game, select count. So basically, we're going to have each actor record if it's the first one touched or the second one touched. Uh, and we're going to use that to determine, you know, what actor is going to go where when they're swapping. Now, we're going to need a, another rule inside of this rule. So I'm going to scroll, scroll down to my rules and I put it in here. And I'm going to say if attribute game select count equals 1. So once we've selected, it's going to change right here. It's going to change the select count. And then we're going to say if select count is 1, we're going to change attribute game 1x to self position x. And then we're going to do change attribute game 1y to self position y. So if it's the first one selected, we're going to record the X and Y location of that actor. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to do another change attribute and we want to say that this actor is now used. So we're going to change self.used to true. So now that actor has been used. And then what we're going to do is we're going to select this rule and I'm going to just type in um, selected one I'm going to shrink that. Now with the Alt Option button, I'm going to click it and drag and make a copy. And I'm going to call that Selected 2. And I'm going to say if Select Count equals 2, we're going to change attribute Game 2x. And for this one here, Game 2y. And these get to stay the same because we're just recording the x and y of this actor. Um, so that's pretty much what we need for recording the selection um, of each actor and where it goes. So now what we want to do is we want to create a new rule. 
So I'm just going to shrink this rule here. And I'm going to hit Create Rule. And now we want it to have an effect when um, two actors have been selected. So we're going to say when attribute game select count equals two. Okay, so once two actors are selected, we want to change the location of the actor. Um, so if we're, if 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 my selection equals one, we want to change its location to selection two, and if select, if it's my selection is two, we want to change selection to one. So we're going to say when select count equals two, and now I'm going to add a new rule in here inside, and we're going to say if attribute self my selection equals one, then we're going to change attribute self position x to game 2x and I'm going to do the same for the y change attribute self position y to game 2y so basically if it's selection 1 it's going to go to selection 2 now we need to do the same thing for selection 2 so I'm going to hit uh, I'm going to select this rule alt option I'm going to copy it down right inside so it's all still in the same rule and I'm going to change this number to 2 and then I'm going to change the uh, game 2x to game 1x and I'm going to change game 2y to 1y. I'm just going to shrink both of these here. Now we have a few more things to do to, to clean up. Um, we're going to add a timer in here right at the bottom of this rule here and we're going to say after 0.1 seconds and now we need to reset everything so that way it can do it again for the next selections so we're going to change attribute and we're going to change self my selection to zero another change attribute and we're going to change game select count to zero and one more, we're going to change attribute self used to false because we don't want the actor to show as used anymore. And I think that should be it. I'm going to hit preview. And so we'll select the green one and then the blue one and they switch locations. Select the, the pink one and the yellow one and they switch locations. And let's just give a little more effect to this. Um, what we'll do is we'll put, create a new rule and we'll say when, when attribute game uh, sorry self used is true let's uh, change attribute self rotation to 10 and then we'll go otherwise change it back to 0 so now you can see when you select an actor so I'll select the first one and it rotates select the yellow one and they switch and that's pretty much it. That's all you need to know about how to swap two actors in Game Salad. Uh, if you want to download this project file for free, head on over to gshelper.com. And underneath the video, you'll see the download link. Uh, play with it. Do what you want with it. Uh, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube videos. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.